My name is Chance Williams Jr. This is my last video for tonight. Alright, so apparently this lady here is a straight white racist supremacist? I don't know. You just watch the video. So this college is just calling her out. I can't believe that you would feel like you can come here and talk about bell hooks in the way you did it. Well, I was working the camera also, sucks. Your sexuality is not just from, I don't, you said educated middle class women, but you didn't say that there were black women. I'm just wondering what you have to say about that, especially since intersectionality has been used by many communities to express their lived experiences, to understand how oppression works. The fact that you would say that the United States is not white supremacist or patriarchal is frankly just being ignorant. There's no way. You say you like statistics, but I don't think you actually do. Because if you read statistics, if you read real statistics, I think you would understand that.
Christians, I think it's called the philanthropy, the, the, the virtue philanthropy. And it's just trying to solve this problem. And so she had come to us and asked for help. She had literature. She, and through her philanthropy, she's trying to get drugstores not to sell acid. So that was just, just one thing. She's trying to improve her life. She's trying to find ways within her system, and she wanted wanted our help. She wanted a better life for her daughter. I'm not saying that we go in and overthrow the governments. I'm saying we work creatively with the government, and you do what they want you to do. Like, that is what, that is what happened. Like, I'm not, I just, and by the way, about Bill Hooks, do you, do, you think, do you think we have to open, you want to overthrow capitalism? Yes, I have to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 stop. I wanted to go to Dallas You know what capitalism does? It puts you in prison. It kills them. Capitalism makes it changed the world from <coughs> 90% do you think of people, people who are living who are hungry, think that capitalism saved the world? You think it has saved the world and it continues to save the world. And you've got to, you know what you have to do is. Uh, there's a, an economist, my favorite economist, is Deirdre McCloskey, and she describes herself as a postmodern capitalist Episcopalian who used to be a man. She's a trans woman, a brilliant economist, and an absolute uh, champion of capitalism. And she explains why. That what, it, it, it's not just... The, I'm sorry, the your cameraman's fucked, so I'm fucked. Another word for free there you go. For economic freedom. It's just another word for it. If, so if you don't have economic freedom, you don't have, you will have a, an intolerant and poor society. So if you have economic freedom, poor people, what about all the people who do not have economic freedom? You can't pretend, like in this country, everyone is, has a great life and has economic freedom because that's not fucking true. Damn right. You, what you're doing is holding up an ideal and making it the enemy of a pretty good situation that could be better. It's not pretty good. It's pretty good for you. Because you're complicit in upholding white supremacy. Do you know anything about world history? Do you know anything about world history? I probably know more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Don't pretend like you just come here. So what about these other white So, right, so, so if okay, you history. know anything about world history, uh, get it. Don't make this a quiz. That's a provisional question. Come on, baby. You said you think that people like this are like fakes, then why are you fakes? Why do you keep evading the question? Just, uh, Why do you keep asking other people to ask the question? I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked that you could say that about the free market. I mean, and, and, and naturally, in anybody, it raises questions if you know what has happened when people try to overthrow uh, economic freedom and impose completely state-managed economies. It leads to totalitarianism, poverty, and misery. Do you think Donald Trump is a totalitarian? Well, I think he's not as sure as other countries. Do you think that we haven't enacted imperial violence for since the beginning of time? Do you know what land we're standing on? The stolen land that we are standing on? Will you call it yes? Is an example of white supremacist patriarchy. We are standing on Mohican land. It is stolen. It has blood. Ephraim Williams owns slaves. The very legacy of the place we occupy is damaged and violent, and the United States in its totality represents violence and genocide of indigenous and black people. I don't understand if you've read a history book, I can't understand that. Good girl. Uh, I just feel that, you know, I, I talked to someone from a cult. Oh, you're to talk. Yeah. You did. You All right, I think that's program. Good. I mean, you're just, you're just saying these things, and it is, it's so <laughs> much more complicated. And yet there are horrible <laughs> tragedies in the past. And, and she's and being called out by a white girl. Is, is, is so double kudos. Was dirt poor. What happened? 
like in the 18th, 17th, 18th century, is that you began to have this, you had industrialization and you had free market, and it became an engine of astonishing progress that began to transform the world. But they had slaves. In fact, I mean, throughout society, people had slaves. slaves as long as some people are like rich. They didn't, they didn't solve all the problems. They started. Well, they they the the problem. Like, people I'm talking slaves. right now about the She's, She was talking about slavery as well. That's what we're talking about. So I'm telling you, then, what is the, the solution? Is it just to say, okay, the whole thing goes? No, there were t still terrible uh, injustices, but. What began to happen, and another thing happened with this industrial revolution and, and, and the free market, is you began to get humanitarian societies and groups that started to talk about prison reform, that started to talk about abolishing uh, Sorry, slavery, that right. started to talk all of that developed, and it, it, it has never stopped. You got this escalator of progress, material progress, but the key thing, and this is Deirdre, uh, this is Deirdre McCall. Okay, so uh, a young lady at uh, Williams College did this, telling Arthur Christina Summer she's a racist. Right, so we're gonna get off well, of that. I'm a free speech activist, so sometimes I say. I don't know what the hell that is. You got all this stuff on top, Buzz. I wanted to point that out before I make one more video. Which I'm going to do in the New York minute. So that's uh, the lady she was talking to. There's no picture of the young lady doing the talking. And I got this off of Top Buzz. Yo. Um, so I kind of agree with the younger girl. Oh, I'm going to make, make this part of this real quickly because uh, I found this in. No, as a matter of fact, I'm making a whole nother video because I got a whole bunch to say about this. All right, I'm James Machines, Come back at number two, BC and you.